run in the church and begin to, to fall down on his knees, begin to pray and talk to the Lord. Amen. And as the story goes on, that one day little Johnny got sick, all the way to the point of death, laying on the cooling board there, just laying there. Doctor had not given him up and everything. And all of a sudden, he heard a little voice say, Hello, Johnny, this is Jesus. The, you remember the time your mom sent you down at water, some water and everything? But well, you took a little time out and you came into church Amen. and you began to pray for me. You was in good health, but you took a little time out. And the Lord said, because of that, I'm going to heal you. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? I don't know about you, but somebody yes. prayed for me. Yes. Yes. They had me on their yes. mind. Amen. amen. They took a little time out and prayed for us. Prayer changes things. Yes. And I, that yes, young man, you. he just fell on the knee, began to call on the Lord. Amen. But Lord, not my will, but I want my will to be subject to your will. Yes. Whatever you tell me to do, I want to find myself doing it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Lord, you, Amen. You, you, if you ask me to pray, Lord, I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. I, I often use a little saying and say, Lord, use me till you use me all up. And a lot of times when I when I say that, look like the calls come in, different ones you to pray for them, marriages, weddings, and so forth. And go forth. The Lord just use you on every hand. But Lord, use me till you use me all up. Mm -hmm. If you want to use my hand, I got my hands here. Lord, you want to use my feet to go somewhere. I'll go for you, Lord. My mind go back to the scripture in the Bible where uh, 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 where the young man wanted to go out, amen. But the Lord said he had to take the thong, tongues and put it in his mouth, amen. And, and when he put his tongues in the mouth, he said, say, who will go for me? He said, here am I, I'll yeah, go. Yeah. Send me, I'll go. How many willing workers that we have that will go and do things for the Lord? Amen. You're living in a society now that everything is paid now. Paid, you're looking for paid organists. I've never seen so many people, Lord, I gave you a gift, but yet he gave you for the edification of the body of Christ. And what you're doing, you're asking for money for it. Can we say amen? Amen. 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 But we'll, we want somebody to come forth that are saved and sanctified and baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. Say, Lord, I'll do for you. Without a charge, Lord, you've done so much for me. Now let me do amen. something for you. Let me do something for the people of God. Yes. We need more of that. Yes. We need more people, people that, and we need, uh, one scripture said, call for the, for the morning women. The people that yes. get down, amen, and have that prayer going for them. Amen. Praying noonday yes. prayer. What happened? The songwriter said, oh, Zion, what's the matter now? You don't sing the way you used to sing. You don't pray the way you used to pray. You don't preach the way you used to preach. Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? Amen. Amen. But I hear a song say, Lord, take me back where I first believed. You know how it was when you first got saved. Yeah. You were so energetic. Nobody could sit you down. Say amen. 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 You had so much inside, energizing. Amen. But what happened that way? But well, somewhere down the line. That's why the scripture you hear me say so many times. Say The Bible says seek for the old path. And once you find it, yes. walk there. God got amen. a way set for yes. all his people yes. to walk. Yes, amen. amen. And once you find that, Isaiah picked it up say, as a highway. And nothing will walk up there but the pure in heart. No liar, no gambler going to be found on the highway. But Lord, I want my will to line up with the will. What you want me to do, I'll do it, Lord. Jesus, he did, he did, he did his father's will. It was his father's will for him to come down in the low grounds of sorrow to give your life, even on the cross. Mm -hmm. And at the time in the, in the Garden of Gethsemane, the agony, the, the pain and everything. One thing about the pain, it weighs you down. Yes. Yes. Just like sin. You'd be surprised. People that come in the church that weighted down with so much sin and everything. But we sing a song say, shake off the heavy weights. Can I say amen? Yes, amen? One thing about it, the, who the son said free is free indeed. Yes, but we got to line up, our, our life got to line up with the word of God. Can I say amen? Yes, amen. amen. And then book of Ecclesiastes say the whole duty of man is to obey God yes. and to keep his commandments. Uh -huh. In other words, what the Lord say do, we ought to find ourselves doing it. Amen. When he tells us not to do so, we ought to find it. That's one thing about the Holy Ghost. 
You can't get up and try to sing a song uh, uh, and, and, and with an understanding and you've been out all last night. Or you've been out with some man's wife. Come on. Can we say amen? I know it's tight. Amen. This holiness. Amen. This holy preaching here. A lot of, it, 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 it calls a person to examine himself. Soul searching message. Amen. But you but you can't get up and try to sing one of those Zion songs. Excuse me. Say, how can you sing a Zion song in a strange land? Amen. But you know you've been praying. Your life is all prayed up. And you all stayed up and tangled up, wrapped up and tangled up in the Lord. You can sing one of them Zion songs. Yes. Uh -huh. Not only that, you can feel the anointing. Oh, amen. God let the, the anointing destroy yes. the yoke. Yes. Can we say amen? amen? That's what we want. We don't want no surface teaching or surface preaching or surface praying. But when I pray, I want somebody to be able to feel something. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? When I preach, I want somebody to feel something. Feel something. Amen. When I teach, amen, somebody ought to be able to feel the power of God. Amen. Just like I said earlier, coming through that door, you're able to feel the presence of God. I want somebody, when they come to Amos Tabernacle in Gettysburg, I want them to feel God's spirit moving. Amen. Woo. Can you say amen? Yes, Lord. Amen. Then amen. amen. The Lord wanted those that are able to pray through. Amen. We got to pray through. Amen. What are we going through? A lot of times, the Bible says, these kind go out through prayer and fasting. Yes, when the last time you turn your plate down? Can we say amen? amen. amen. A lot of times we want to eat them pork chop, those collard green, fat back bacon. Can we say amen? amen. I know it tastes good, sounds good. Can we say amen? amen. Make it hungry. But when it comes down to the word of God, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? God got people, amen, when he, when he calls, amen, we ought to be like thoroughbreds. We ought to be ran, ready to go, Lord. Whatever you want me to do, Lord, I do it. Yeah. Thoroughbreds. You know how thoroughbreds, they're a different breed than the regular horses. They are ran and go. God got them to people like that. Yeah. Then he tell Jezebel that, amen, when, when, when uh, Ahab was talking about and uh, uh, who that was, uh, 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 Lucifer, say them, God bless you, amen, uh, uh, Elijah, that's right, Elijah, <laughs> amen, amen. She, he was afraid of Jezebel. Amen. Jezebel had killed all the prophets and Ahab, her husband, amen, was going forth, amen, and, and had him scared. He went and hid himself in the cage. Y'all know the yeah. story. Yeah. Can we say amen? amen? And said, what are you doing here in, in the cage? He said, look here, they have killed all the prophets and nobody left for me. The Lord, look here, said, Lord told him, said, you go back and tell Ahab, tell Jezebel, I got over 10,000 people that prophets that, that, that haven't even bowed themselves down to Baal. God got people. If you don't want to live for God, God will raise up that prostitute. He'll raise up that gambler on the street, amen, that'll go forth and get the work done. Yes, amen. Can you say amen? amen. You know how it lives a lot of times. A lot of times you're sitting in church and the Spirit of God be done on you to sing a song. Then all of a sudden you question the Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Lord will give that song to somebody else in that congregation. Whoa. Can I get a witness? Amen. He will do that. God got yeah. God gonna get his work done. Amen. And he calling for people like you and me. Yeah. That's all prayed up. Amen. And ready to go. Yes. You got dying men and women yeah. out there. Yeah. All they need is somebody to tell them about Jesus. Yes. They don't have the people to if you don't go to them, they resort themselves to drugs, alcohol. But they're waiting for the word of God. God's word is so powerful. You say, sharper than any two-edged sword. Going back and forth. Yes. But we got to have our lives lined up. Not our will, but God's will. Amen. Here to do the will of God. I think about Moses, amen. He, he, well, he, he, he like me a lot of time. I stutter sometimes. Can we say amen? amen. But yet, yeah, amen, he, he looked at his shortcoming and everything. But he, the Lord said, look at him, just tell him when he went to Moses, went to uh, Pharaoh, and, and he tells him, well, who, who you want me to tell him that? That, that sentence, that tell them that I am that I am. Amen. Can we say amen? amen. As I sent you, amen. amen. He said, but I, I stuttered and everything. Uh -huh. well, Lord said, I got your brother Aaron that's able to be a spokesman for you to get the job done. Come on now. Sometimes we look at our shortcoming, but, yeah. but God will use you. Yes, Can we say amen? amen. He amen. uses ordinary people for extraordinary opportunity yes. to go amen. for it. 
God, amen, he, he makes preachers, amen, he makes missionaries, he makes deacons, amen, yes, but he's he not going to use just any kind of way. Yes. But he wants us to go down to the potter's house and let him mold us and shape. Mm -hmm. yes. Have us to be the men and women that he's calling for and he lasts an evil day. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's coming back one day. Amen. Just like he told his disciples, amen, they didn't understand where he was coming from. But he told them that in the third day, I will rise again. Yeah. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? And we know that he's on the right hand of our Father, yeah. making intercession for yes. you and I. Yes. That our yes. prayer will be, be heard. Yes. Can we say amen? amen? Ain't you glad about it? Yes, yes. About thank it. you, Lord. But it's not now, like he said, Lord, let this bitter cup. And sometimes this road get a little rough sometimes. Yes, it does. Yep. Yes, it does. But uh, when I read the words, say, the scripture say, those that live godly must suffer persecution. Amen. And sometimes uh, Paul say, think it not strange when these things come upon you. Amen. And a lot of times it will strengthen us. Mm -hmm. It will make our testimony great. That's why the Bible said we'll overcome them through a word of testimony yes. and through the blood of the Lamb. Yes. Amen. That's what makes a testimony so great when you don't went or through something. Those that, that have canceled, that have been sick, amen, and have lost loved ones and everything, and they can still get up and people wonder where they get all the strength from. Amen. Yes. It's not I, but like Paul said, but it's yeah. the Christ that's in us. Yeah. He amen. does the work for us. Yes. He's yes. able to bring us forth. And when we all prayed up for the Lord and everything, when the Lord called us, amen, it should be like, a, 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 like the scripture mentioned about a woman in travail. After nine months, she should be able to come forth. Mm -hmm. If not, there's something wrong. Amen. Preacher, amen. If you're preaching there and they call you to preach, if you can't, you don't come forth, something wrong. I'm wrong. Yes. But if you have done your homework, and that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Paul says, study to show thyself approval amen. unto God. A workman that need not be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Learning how to say yay, yay, and nay, nay. Can we say amen? amen? And we're closing. Amen. But realize that this Passion Week, is, and a lot of times we find people that go to church that don't usually go to church. You don't see them in the, <laughs> Come on, can we say amen? amen. But still, we got to still have love for those people. That one day, amen. I don't know about you, but I used to be that way. Can we say amen? amen. But we hope that we're able to say something that was able to draw them, to stir their pure, pure mind that, that one day they can see how good God has been. The average person that you talk to that's saved now, they wish they had gotten saved years ago. Amen. Can I get a witness? Can I say amen? amen? Don't you wish you had gotten saved years ago? Amen. But dodging all them bullets. Drinking all that bad wine and whiskey. Come on, can we say amen? Amen. Bullets coming all by your head. Don't got that bullet, ain't got no name on it. Amen. But ain't you glad that we sing a song? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Amen. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Amen. 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 And as we go through this, so let us t focus on what he did for us and what he now doing for us. And by faith, we still we don't know what tomorrow may hold, but we know who holds the future for tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. 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 The song say, when I, when I see, the blood, see the blood, when I, when I see the blood, see the blood, when I, when I see the blood. See the blood I will pass, I will pass over you. Oh, when I, when I see the blood, see the blood. When I, when I see the blood, see the blood. When I, when I see the blood, see the blood. I will pass, I will pass over you. Let us stand. When I, when I see the blood, see the blood. When I, when I see the blood, see the blood. When I, when I see the blood, see the blood. I will pass, I will pass over you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
escape oh, route. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God. Death angel. Oh, oh, Lord, when they pass by, you may not see Lord. the blood. Say, I will pass over you. you Amen. We're going to pray at this time. Is there anybody that's standing in need of prayer? Amen. I know a man named Jesus. Can we say amen? Amen. amen? One man I used to hear preach all the time say, you don't have no problem. All you need is faith in God. Mm -hmm. Let me say amen. amen. That's all you need is faith in God. Yes. Amen. 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 One thing about the problem, say when I see Jesus, all my problem, all my trial and my tribulation will be over. If I can just see Jesus, see Jesus. you look at Jesus and see like all your problems, they, they, they diminish because everything you need is found in him. Yes, amen. And we got to believe that. Amen. 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 So we're going to pray. If anyone pray, amen. We're just going to bow our head and pray. Gracious Father, after hearing your word tonight, oh God, we just open the doors for prayer. Oh God, we know you're saving God. You're healing God. You're restoring God right now. Oh God, you said in your word, your word will not go out and return back void. But it was set out and it was seek and it was comfort what it was meant to be. Oh, God, we thank you for your word right now. We thank you for this church. We thank you for this pastor. We thank you for the, the members, oh, God. Oh, God, we thank you for the love and your fellowship that is here right now. Oh, God, we ask you to touch, move right now. Satan, the Lord, we you the blood of Jesus right now. We're pleading your blood right now, Jesus. That same blood that was shed on Calvary. Uh, able to wash us, oh God, and make us white as snow. Yes, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we look unto you, oh God, to offer and to finish our faith. Come now, Jesus, right now, Lord. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, great is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch right now, Jesus. Save right now, restore, reclaim right now. Hallelujah. You said in your word, if any sick among you, let a call for the elders of the church, and a proud face shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise them up. If they committed any sin, it shall be forgiven. Lord, we take you at your word right now. In your word, we have a hiding place right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In your word, there's life, oh God. There's strength right now. And there's health right now. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, Hallelujah. search us right now. Hallelujah. Turn the searchlight from heaven on our yes, soul. Lord. Lord, if we find anything that shouldn't be, take it out. Thank you. Yes, take it out, Lord. Take it out, oh, God. Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Fill us more with your spirit right now. Oh, God, we feel like it lies, Lord. Give us a double portion of your spirit and your anointing right now, Lord. Oh, God, you've been so good. You've been so merciful, oh God. Oh, God, help us not to forget you. Help us, oh, God, not to be sleeping on the job. But, Lord, stir up our pure mind that we run as never before. We feel like Paul, I press toward the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Forgetting those things are behind us, yes, Lord. Yes, but yes. let us move yes. forward, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, in you, Lord, we can do all things, oh, God. In the Thank name you, of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. 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 Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. Hands are back in the hands of So the enemies tried to attack my family with cancer, oh, and the okay. Lord healed me. Okay. But my brother has this very rare cancer that chemotherapy can't do okay. in his bronchioles. Okay. They had to put a hole in his throat, mm -hmm. a tracheostomy. Right. Uh -huh. And now he's getting radiation, so he has total burns now on mm -hmm. his throat. And when they wipe the salve off, his skin just comes off, mm -hmm. and it's blisters mm -hmm. and burn inside. Jesus. And he has, like, four more treatments to do, mm -hmm. but the doctor said they have to wait now because of all the burning. Mm -hmm. 
and okay. and uh, I just want to curse that cancer oh, yeah. in Jesus' name. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus yeah. has already disarmed all powers and principalities. Yeah. And I just need someone to agree with me. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. We agree. We agree. Yeah. Hallelujah. We agree with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is Ken. Ken. Father God, in the name of Jesus, yeah. Lord, you heard the request, oh God, and, oh God, it's just sister standing and toxic for her brother, Lord, that Lord, you would intervene right now. We realize that there's nothing too hard for you right now. Satan and Lord, we you the blood of Jesus, oh God. We curse this sickness, oh God, we curse this disease. Send it back to the pits of hell, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Say to the Lord with you to the blood of Jesus right now, Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Call him with the blood right now, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, nothing is too hard for you right now. We're calling on your name. No other name we know. There's power in your name right now. Save, Lord. Restore, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, you say call on the fervent prayers of the righteous. Avail as much, Lord. We're calling on you. Oh, God, that you will end up being. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. We know you have that healer. Oh, God, you heal a blind man. Oh, God, you heal a lame man. Even, oh, God, you brought Lazarus back from the dead, Lord. That same Jesus, oh, God, we're calling on you right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we claim the victory right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Uh, Brother Humphrey asked me to close the meeting tonight. Before I do, uh, I just have to say that what transpired here tonight was extremely moving for me. Amen. In just the fact that we know that God is working on all of us and he's working on us in the same way because so much of what our brother spoke about tonight it's just been a reaffirmment of the things that have been going on for the last couple of weeks in getting us ready to uh, really celebrate Holy Week. I know a lot of people don't um, subscribe to Holy Week, but it is really the foundation that the Christian Church was born on. And um, I, I just, I can't thank our guests and or my brother over here for taking the time to share his thoughts and the message that God had with them, uh, had with him for us tonight. And uh, I just, again, uh, to, as far as I'm concerned, it was just a, a fantastic experience. And I'm so glad that we all took the time to come. Amen. So as we close tonight, I just want to thank our guests again for making the trip here, for taking the time to share God's message with us. I pray for traveling mercies, and I pray that we are forever thankful and grateful for everything that God does for us, both large and small, because in this world today, there is too much that God does for us that's taken for granted. And so... As always, we give the Lord all the thanks, all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. And we pray traveling mercies for everyone as they go home tonight. They say it's liable to be a little bit foggy, so we're just trusting that God will see us all home safely. Uh, again, we give you thanks, praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Secretary for Upper Room Ministry. You can see the rest of this message each Sunday evening, your local time. 
If you would like to receive our monthly newsletter and know the things the Lord is speaking to Prophet Humphrey, then please send a love offering to help cover our expenses. Also, if you would like to have an anointed prayer cloth and become a ministry partner, send us your picture so we can pray, lay hands on you and your need, and expect signs, wonders, and miracles in your life starting today. You will never be the same. Our website is upperroomministry.net. If you would like to schedule a speaking engagement, contact our ministry. All glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen.